close your eyes. Close your eyes. Hello YouTube, right now we're in the well done load or the lightmatic um, of the farm. So yeah, it's going to look like this. Um, so first thing you want to do is like, there's a, the on and off switch right there and there's a reset here. Um, the reset is for in case the farm breaks or anything happens and you lose bone meal efficiency, um, you're going to run out of bone meal in uh, one of these hoppers in this hopper line. And so let's say we lose bone meal up to there. It's going to trigger this piston right there. And it's going to be quasi powered. And so even if you get back all of the bone meal, it's going to remain powered like that. And what it does is that it only deactivates the clock of the farm right there. And yeah, when you come back, you need to fix your things and all and replenish the bone meal and then you can press this button right there and it's going to reactivate um, the clock apart from that um, when you build this thing um, there's the core right there and there are going to be these observers that take uh, an input from here and they need to transfer it that way um, so they need a temporary block there so usually you'd have the block stream of the the core that would go down but when you didn't use if you haven't used the farm before um place a temporary block there now the farm is it uses the the warp nylon so you you have to stay 128 blocks away from the farm or the nylon will turn into netherrack um if for some reason you you come closer to the farm and uh, it turns into an etherack. Um It's going to be easier to access the core than the other designs I made before. So you'll just need to come around here, and yeah, you have a little place to crawl inside. Um, apart from that, uh, just make sure that you you double check your timings for this part there because it's going to be a pain uh, to rebuild if it blows up. Apart from that, I think that's pretty much it for the 
farm, you should be able to run it with all of that info. If anything breaks um, and you're not sure what everything does, there's this color palette right there that shows you everything that's color coded basically. So oh, yeah, we also have uh, this right there. It's only to try and minimize the items landing on top of uh, blocks like that. So yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much all you need. Thanks for watching and bye bye.